I'm going to be showing you how to give players a trail in Roblox. So the first thing you want to do is go to view at the top, click on explore and properties. I'm also going to open this up. Next, I'm going to go to starter player, open that up, right click starter character scripts, insert object, and then insert a normal script, not a local script. Now we can start scripting. So the part we're going to attach the trail to, you can make this any part, but for this, I'm going to use the humanoid root part which is the center of every character. To local root, you go script.parent, wait for child to humanoid root part. So that'll wait for that to load in. Now the way trails work, I'm gonna make an example real quick. So this is the basic shape of a humanoid root part. What it's gonna do is it's going to make two attachments on it. So I'm gonna put one up here and then one down here. Then it's gonna go to the part add a trail, and then connect the trail to both of these attachments. And then as you can see here, it makes a trail behind it. So in order to connect the attachments, I'm just gonna put attachment zero and attachment one and put them both in variables and a0.cframe equals cframe.new 0 root.size.y divided by 2 basically this is going to get the first attachment and move it to the top of the root part and then we're going to parent it to the root part and we're going to do the same thing for the other attachment except we're going to change this to a negative sign so that it goes to the bottom of it and then we're going to make our trail so we can connect so we can connect it to both attachments local trail instance.new trail and then attachment zero equals attachment zero, attachment one equals attachment one, and then we can parent it to the root part. If we press play here, you can see we have a trail on us. And that's how you make a trail in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.